And then you turned your focus to Mozart for the second main program. So the, the main stage program begins with a Chirino transcription, Salvador Chirino, of Mozart's last piece of chamber music, which is an adagio for glass harmonica and a small chamber ensemble. And Chirino reimagines this piece for two violas, flute, and one wine glass. Just one wine glass playing one note. And that so takes the role of the glass harmonica? It takes the role of the glass harmonica. And so we thought it would be a beautiful way to start the program and to begin the conversation of the whole evening, which is, who is Mozart in the year 2011? How do we reimagine him? So from there, we, we burst into Matthias Pincher's occultation. It's, it's a loud and incredibly vital piece for, mm -hmm. for solo horn, trumpet, and ensemble. And then we follow that with Schoenberg's Chamber Symphony No. 1, which is one of the greatest pieces of the early 20th century. We thought it would be a really interesting contrast to the Grand Partita. So that's the, that's the main stage program. And then we continue the thread in the Kaplan program. We begin with a Jonathan Harvey serenade to the Grand Partita, based on the Grand Partita. Then we have a sort of magic flute exploration set that involves some new pieces that ICE has commissioned through our ICE Lab program by some young, interesting downtown voices, Steve Lehman and Phyllis Chen. Love to bring downtown uptown to Lincoln Center, yes. It, absolutely. And then we conclude with the authentic K617 Mozart original, very last piece of chamber music that he ever wrote for glass harmonica and ensemble.